Hey guys, I'm back and I have prints to show you. Uh, Arion sent me two spools of their PLA. This is the black spool. The blue one is still in the machine behind me. As you can see on the desk, I've done all kinds of printing on blue and a few in black. What I'll do is I'll show you these prints. I'll show you my test prints I did to tune the material, the settings I used, and then of course the beautiful results and what I think of it. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, welcome back. Well, first of all, let's start off with my name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm big into 3D printing. I've built an R2D2. I've got a Batman suit, a Stormtrooper suit. Uh, if it's nerdy, I'm into it. So welcome. If you've never seen my videos before, I invite you to check out all my content. Be sure to become a subscriber by hitting the button down below so you don't miss any of my cool videos. So as I mentioned earlier, Arion was kind enough to send these two spools over and I spent the last couple weeks just cranking out prints in between other tasks around the holidays. Uh, some of the first prints that I did as usual with my filament reviews is I like to do a temperature tower to find out what the sweet spot is for this material. Uh, being a regular PLA, it's not a composite, it's not a silk, I pretty much expected it to be about 200 to be perfect. And as you can see in my results, it did excellent at everything from 180 to 220. So what I decided to do is in my Simplify 3D, I made my first layer 205. All the layers after that were 200 and the bed was set to 60 degrees Celsius. I printed all of these on a Arion Thinker uh, SE. And as you can see, I really had no real challenges printing this. After the temperature tower, I did what I always recommend is I did some extrusion and multipliers. So I did the first one, as you can see, I got it all numbered over here. Uh, I have my handy dandy uh, calipers to figure out what my flow was. And then my second print came out way better. So I was able to, on my Simplify 3D profile, I wound up with an extrusion multiplier of 93. If you're using Cura, that'd be 93% flow. And once I did that, I moved on to the Benchy because What's more traditional than the Benchy? As you can see in my Benchy, it came out excellent. I didn't see any real issues here. Uh, again, I'm, I've been spoiled by the silk materials that Arion has sent me in the past, so uh, I'm not used to seeing those layer lines, but uh, they are there. I'm like, that's, that's what you expect with PLA, but uh, a really nice result from the Benchy. The next print that's a favorite of mine is the Kitten. You can find this on Thingiverse called the Kitten. And what I like about the kitten is that uh, due to the way that the fur is fluffed and such, as you see in the close up, uh, we don't use supports. And uh, uh, depending on how well you have this material uh, tuned, uh, you shouldn't have any issues with all these fluffy spots on the kitten. And uh, as we can see in the close up, the Arion Thinker S had no problems doing that with the Arion PLA. From there, it was time to go to more challenging and bigger prints. So I went on my mini factory. I found a support free version of the Iron Man. And as you can see in the close up, wow, I, I was really impressed at how well this printed. Uh, there were a few spots where I expected a little bit of issues. I can see on the bottom of his abs here, there's a little bit of stringiness, but not having any support. Um, maybe that'd be one area where a little support would, may have helped, but other than that, I mean, if I was gonna give this a one to 10 scale, uh, I would definitely give this a 9.9. .9. This print looks fantastic. Uh, again, I'm not, <laughs> I haven't done regular PLA in a while. I've been so spoiled with all these exotic materials. Uh, so yes, you definitely see the layer lines, but uh, this was printed at 0.2 resolution, uh, layer resolution. So if I've gone lower, it might've been even better, but this was a pretty long print as it was. Um, the effect you see of the fist hitting the ground and leaving that great big crater uh, looks outstanding. And uh, kudos to the uh, people that made the model. Uh, I'll have the link down below for my mini factory. And uh, it's just a fantastic model to print. And for those of you that are talented in the ways of priming and painting and what have you, th this would be a fun model to do. Since it was Christmas time, I couldn't resist a frozen themed print. And this was also a find from my mini factory. This was also a support free model. Uh, I cheated, I added supports to the bottom. Uh, the, the legs look so tiny, I decided I had to put two little supports down there. And uh, I'll show you that in the photo. 
But as you can see, I mean, it did a really fantastic job printing this. Uh, again, you see those layer lines, but um, if you do decide to do a print like this, maybe a lower layer resolution, I did point to. Um, but I imagine this would also look really fantastic in one of Arion's um, silk or ultra silk materials. But no complaints, Olaf looks good, the girls look great, and it's just an excellent print. So what do I think of it? This stuff is very easy to print, okay, first and foremost. I mean, I, I encourage you on your machines, everyone's machine is a little different. So make sure you do the temperature tower, do the extrusion multiplier, find out your flow rate and the sweet spot temperature wise for your machine. And I think you'll have no trouble printing with this stuff. Now, because it's just regular PLA, you're gonna find that you're gonna see the layer lines and it's gonna have a shiny finish because it's not, as I pointed out my favorite, you know, that nat finish. But it's a one kilogram spool. It's $22.99 on amazon.com. And you can also get it through the Arion store. And it's very easy to work with. So what do you think? As always, I get a little sneak peeks of what I'm up to on social media. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course the website, where nerdyiscool.com. I look forward to your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this material. Have you used it? Have you printed with it? Let me know. And that's it for this time. Remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Take care. I'm gonna show off these cool prints, but I'm gonna talk to you, talk to you about. Back, and this time I have a review. I'm gonna keep my hand up there forever, right? I hate that segue. Let's try that again. Before, welcome. Please. Be sure to check out my other videos when I learn how to talk. Damn.